So it's no doubt that reading the Bible is extremely valuable. And you might be watching this video going, ugh, another dude who on the internet who's trying to convert me into Christianity. And no, that's not the point that I'm trying to make. What I've seen within my own life is not only has the Bible enriched my life and helping me grow closer to my relationship with God, it's also completely revolutionized every other area of my life. And that's what I wanna share with you in this short video. If you're new here, my name is Richard. I'm an online business consultant. I operate an organization that does about $700,000 a month with just about 20 employees. And from 18 to now 23 of the past five years since I've been Christian, I've seen how the Bible has revolutionized my life as a living adult, as an entrepreneur, as a friend, as a brother in Christ to other individuals, and really just made my life better in so many different ways. So I just wanna share with you a few different ways in which it's done that. First and foremost, do you know what Bible actually stands for? Well, I like to say B-I-B-L-E. It stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. If you really think about it, the same way that when you buy a car, the car comes with an owner's manual which means that if any time the car breaks down, you can't start your engine, you need to swap out the oil, there is a user manual on that. But what about when it comes to our life? It turns out that there's not a lot of instructions based off of where your parents raised you, how they raised you, what environment you grew up in. That's really the basic instructions that you grow with. But unfortunately for many of us, we don't grow up in the best of the best environments. Some of us grow in very toxic environments, environments that put us in really tough limiting beliefs. And so what ends up happening is you need a strong reference point. And what's not stronger than a document that is written that is thousands of years old, that has been enriched through generations and generations of individuals with so much wisdom that's within there. And so I would highly recommend that you read this even just from a perspective of becoming a better human, becoming a better person. This is a book that clearly, clearly is gonna give you an operating manual on how to live your life in a very fruitful way. The second reason why the Bible has transformed my life is actually very near and dear to my heart. And it's that it's kept me very humble. One of the things that I struggle with as a very type A driven male personality is I have an ego about me. And I know so many other high performing, ambitious entrepreneurs. And the reason why they're so successful is because they have an ego, is because they have to push forward, but that also gets the best of them when they lack humility. And I've seen also when, within my own life, when I was a competitive athlete, when I was in high school and transitioning into university, when I was transitioning from a university student into the professional career, and then when my business finally started taking off and I started making really, really good money, in all of these transition periods in which I've reached the next level in my career, I've seen how this ego about me begins to tell me that I am the reason why I'm successful. I started to see, oh man, it's because of my hard work, my dedication, my own intellect and decision-making that has resulted in my success, what people call self-made millionaires or self-made successful people. And I just think that's completely BS for that matter because at the end of the day, the devil is always gonna try to get in our hearts and convince that we are our own gods, that we are the reason why we're successful. When I truly believe that everything good in this life comes from our Father in heaven, comes from above, every single blessing comes from some other source. I would not have existed here in this very setting if it were not for my parents deciding to make me 23 years ago. I would not have the intellect that I have if my parents did not have engineering backgrounds and forced me to really take my grades seriously. I would not exist and be able to communicate this to you if the founders of Google did not found YouTube. And I would not exist if these cameras didn't exist. And so when you look at all these different factors, none of those things had to do with my own decision making. And so when I look at it from that perspective, and then I apply it to the Bible, this book talks so much about how everything in our life, the good and the bad that God allows, are all because of his perfect plan. And that plan was designed way long before I was ever here. And so whenever I begin to struggle with any form of arrogance, whenever I begin to have really good results, but then I might start to think that these results were attributed by myself, that is where this book comes in and really roots me and keeps me humble. In the book of Matthew, Jesus says in a sermon that those that are proud will be humbled, but those who are humble will be lifted high, right? And the reasoning behind that truly is because God honors those who remain humble. And that's one of those very, very important key lessons that I've learned from this book. The third reason why the book, this book has transformed me is because the Bible talks a lot about how to navigate relationships. In one of my next few videos, I'm gonna be breaking down a few books that I've leveraged in order to improve my leadership and communication skills. But truthfully, there's no greater book 
on how to navigate and really, really understand people than going through the Bible. Because truly, if there's one person who navigated how to lead and inspire in a humble, in, an, in a very, very powerful way, it was Jesus. It was how Jesus walked one man with 12 disciples at first to now captivate over 2 billion people in the world only 2,000 years later. Name one person who has been able to create a movement like that. And so when you look at how this book navigates through human relationships, I would recommend you dive into the book of Proverbs in which King Solomon writes very, very clearly on how you can navigate relationships with your superiors, with your bosses, with your managers, with kings back in those days is how they would describe it in the book. But then also how do you navigate through relationships with your inferiors or people like servants, people that were perhaps in lower classes because it shows you how to be able to communicate in a way that does not come off as arrogant, that allows for you to become a strong leader and never cause any anger or dissension in the form of relationships. And I've leveraged bits and pieces of these, not only to improve my own relationships, but also for me to improve in how I lead in my business. Specifically for all the entrepreneurs that are watching this, how you can have better relationship with your customers, with your clients, and with prospective team members that wanna join your team, and make sure that you're leading them in the right way as well. And perhaps most important of all of these reasons is this fourth one, and it's that the Bible helps you live in your alignment with God. Every single morning, you might see from any of my day in the life videos, you're gonna see me conduct a Bible study because every single morning, Monday through Saturday, I'm going to be from about 5.30 in the morning to 6.30 a.m., I'm studying this thing and I'm reading it daily and I take this very seriously. I've done this for probably the past four or five years ever since my freshman year in university. And the reason why is because if you want to be able to truly master something, you need to dedicate daily towards that, right? If you wanna get really, really shredded and in shape, guess what? You're gonna go train every single day. But what if you wanted to get really close with God? You wanted to build a really, really good relationship with your creator. Probably gonna to have to spend some more time with that individual because if you don't, it's gonna be like talking to one of your distant relatives that you only see once a year. And that's the last thing that we want, for you to only think about God during Christmas or only during Thanksgiving. If you wanna be able to build that relationship, you have to dive deep. And the way that you do this is through two ways. Number one, through prayer, through talking directly to God. But if you want God to speak through you, the reason why they call it a holy living word is because when you read this book, you will see the direct application of how this book applies into your own life today. It's crazy. Some days that I am having really bad temptations of lust, right? Thinking about things like giving into pornography, giving into really, really bad sins that the Bible talks about, I'll literally flip to the chapter and the chapter will literally be on purity and how to overcome temptation in that regard. Other days, I'll be very discouraged because perhaps I've been working really hard in my business without results. And I'll open up to the book of Galatians where it says, do not give up and persevere. And it's just so interesting that all these little quote unquote coincidences aren't actually coincidences because when you begin reading into the Bible, you realize that this is exactly how God communicates and speaks into our life. So regardless of whether you're Christian or not, the purpose of this video is not to prove Christianity or any kind of faith. It truly is just for me to share the most important part of my life. Look, the most important part of my life is not my family, it's not my business, it's not my health. It's my relationship with the Lord, with my Father in heaven. And that is the most important thing that I could ever pass on to you, which is why I wanna share this video with you, regardless of what faith you may be. And I appreciate you taking this with such an open mind. Let me know down in the comments below, how do you read the Bible? And at the end of the day, I know that my calling is in the entrepreneurial space. I became an entrepreneur because I dropped out of pre-medicine. I was a top student at UCLA and I was perfectly positioned to go to UCLA Medical School to become a doctor, but I decided to give that up because I felt called to become an entrepreneur. And over the past few years, God truly has spoken to me not only through this book, but through mentors, through books, through resources, and pushed me to be able to create such successful businesses. And really over the past few years, I've had so many people reach out to me about, hey, Richard, what are some of the best resources that you're able to devote towards growing as an entrepreneur? And perhaps if you're just starting off, I would say number one, if you haven't, please get yourself a Bible, okay? This is the NIV, the New International Version translation. But honestly, if you want to grow specifically in your entrepreneurial path, there's also an opportunity because I created a new course just for that. It's called the High Performance Entrepreneur Program. It's just the first link down below if that's something that you're interested in because inside of that program, I talk not only about my faith, I also talk specifically about how you can break into 
the online education space by creating a coaching consulting business. And really, I do that because I just wanna serve you. It's like literally the most affordable program in the market. I don't do it because I wanna make a profit. I do it because I wanna serve. So that link is for you down below. And if you got value from this video, I just asked one thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe, drop that like, and let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see next. And before you go anywhere, take a look at that playlist right there, because that playlist is gonna share with you exactly what your next steps are if you want to build your coaching business. That's gonna show you everything you need to know. How you do one thing is how you do everything. I will see you soon.